Hey, this is End of the Road Haunts, and today we hit 100 subscribers. So, I, dude, a little while ago we hit 50. I, when I made my Home Depot video, and that was like two weeks at most. So, you guys have been going insane. I remember we had like <clears throat> 25 the start of the year. So, just thank you so much for this. And today, I'm gonna be talking about my animatronic collection. Now, I haven't set these all up and stuff because A, I'm too lazy, but B, I store my <clears throat> um, animatronics like I do my NECA accessories because it's a nightmare. But basically, let's get into the actual video. So, the. These aren't in order of any way, just in order of the ways I thought of them. <clears throat> Number one is Lil Skelly Bones. Oh man, this guy has quite the story behind him. You see, um, he was my favorite animatronic for like, the moment I started, you know, liking Spirit and going... So, I wanted this guy for, like, five to six years. And every year, I'd constantly be like, no, I can't spend too much money. Because I think I'll find him in stores. Which, hey, just so you know, never came true. So, around 2020, I decided to bite the bullet and buy him. And I don't regret it. He's pretty cool. And a couple of months after I bought him... He went out of stock on the website, so I would have had to buy, like, one of the $600 ones on eBay, which I certainly wouldn't want to do. Number two is the Burlap Horror. This guy, each year, there's an animatronic that blows me away. 2018 was this guy, because I just find him super cool. I love how, like, you know... He's a scarecrow, so that's cool. And a butcher, which is nice. But the way his hands aren't like straw or anything, instead resemble like monster hands, or it's really cool. I just love the audio and stuff. So I picked him up day one of Spirit Opening. Number three is Harvester of Souls. So this was my blown away animatronic for 2020. Which, you know, pretty self-explanatory. I just bought this guy the first time I went to Spirit, which, for 2020, of course. Um, which I do have a video of, so if you want to check that, it's not too cringy, so, you know. Yeah. Number four is The Collector. Now, this guy was my blown away animatronic of 2019. It took a while to get him because my store didn't get him shipped in for a while. But hey, I have him now. He's really cool. And he's huge, by the way, if you don't own him or never have seen him. So, you know, that's really cool. Now, number five is the animated clown from 2016. Okay. If I ranked my whole collection, this guy would be pretty low to the bottom. Because here's the story of how I got him, basically. And I'll mention this, uh, you know, f further in the video. But there was a store in 2017 which had so many old animatronics going back to 2014. And this one carried Pumpkin Guardian of the Grave, which is my second favorite animatronic of all time. But I didn't want to buy him because I thought that, you know, the money spending would get in the way of buying Lil Skelly Bones. Spoiler alert, I bought Lil Skelly Bones three years after that incident. So instead, no, 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 I'll settle for this clown just because it's five foot tall. <sighs> Not one of my proudest moments. Not one of my proudest moments at all. So, number six is Experimental Eddie. This guy didn't blow me away when he first came out. But 
Over time, I started to love him more and more. And he is a great prop. He's really cool, one of my favorite of all time. So, I'm glad I bought him. Number seven is Jack Straw, which a bunch of people have, but I did too, because, you see, the first time I saw him in the flagship on video, he was super cool, but then I thought, eh, he might be faulty, so I'm not getting him. Yeah, so then I saw him while, you know, um, like, at Spirit, and my mind totally changed. I needed this guy immediately, so... I had to wait until Jack Straw stocked up. And luckily, him and Experimental Eddie's boxes were there the same day. So I got them on the same day. Pretty cool. So, number eight is the Pop-Up Zombie from 2014. Now, remember how I referenced that store with all the old ones? Yeah, that's where I got this guy. Overall, am I happy to have him? Yeah. He's cool. I like him. He's quite versatile in, like, ways you could display him. And even if you don't want the tombstone, you know, change it out for putting him in a garbage can or something. Boom. That isn't, you know, because of what I think of him. It's just ways to display. Okay. So, number nine is Tire Swing Boy from 2014. Now, I first got him to Spirit at 2016, so I didn't buy him on you know, the day, but, um, yeah, this guy's broken, his mouth doesn't move, or not, it does, I think, but his sound is just totally cut, he moves, animation's fine, but he makes no sound, eh, he's still pretty creepy, though, got him at the old spirit as well, number 10 is the creepy caretaker from Sp Party City, Halloween 2018. I didn't have much reason to get this guy. It's just, hey, you know, he's an old animatronic that's brought back, so I may as well get him now, because I might never get him again. I don't know what that logic is, but he's a cool prop, so I'm not complaining. I like the lights that shine on his face when he activates. He's cool. I'm glad to have him. And I did do a review of him and Burlap Horror in 2018. But don't watch those because they are the cringiest things ever. And by the way, never watch my first video, please. <laughs> that one's just terrible in every way. Number 11 is The Thrashing Scarecrow from 2018. I got a lot of props in 2018 from Party City. And... This guy is, again, really, really cool. He's great, you know. I don't know if... He's just good. I like his animation. His phrases are creepy. His animation, you know. His sounds are good. So, you know, yay. Number 12 is The Grave Grabber from Party City. This one is one of the ones I constantly forget that I have in my collection. I don't think I have to say anything more about this guy. Just that. Number 13 is the Witch Coven. I think I got them in 2019. So, you know, that's pretty cool. You know, they're good animatronics. I like cult stuff, as in like, you know, cultists and stuff. So this one perfectly fit the bill on that. So, you know. Number 14 is jump, Jumping Spider. Pretty self-explanatory. Literally every haunter has this. And if you are a haunter and you don't own this, go buy them. It's pretty much essential, really. It's like everybody's animatronic. So, you know, I got the black version. And number 15, the final animatronic, is actually my first animatronic. The Roaming Ghost Boy from 2016. Yeah. My dad picked him up in the 50% off sale because I was at school or something. And he's pretty neat. For a first animatronic, he's pretty cool. I only got my first, like, six foot tall one in 2018. And that was Burlap Horror. But this guy, sadly, is broken. 
He's completely broken. He doesn't make sound. He doesn't have an animation. And he doesn't light up. I think it's just something wrong with the battery compartment. But sadly, he's done for. But I'm still going to keep him because he's my first animatronic ever. I can't just throw that away. So, in terms of tabletops, I'm pretty sure I only have two. The first one being Lil Zappy from 2017. I don't remember why I wanted to get this guy, it just kind of did. But he's really cool. I like how he lights up. I like his animation. His phrases are good. And pretty much same with the I Spellbook from 2017 as well. Bought these on the same day, and you know, they're both cool. So, yep, though... That is my total animatronic collection. This year, I hope to get the remade Wacky Mole Clown, the one of the leaked killer clowns from outer space animatronics, because that is one of my favorite movies of all time. So, yeah, you know, I feel like 2021 will be good. So, you know, thanks for 100 subscribers, first off, and I'll see you in the next one. So, goodbye. Just thanks for a hundred subscribers.